Alright guys, welcome back to some more DM Duel commentary and we have Madara here. What's up guys, Madara here. Doing a bit of a dueling network commentary with you, Bao. Uh, you one and only. I hate this series. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright, like, everybody loves this series. It gets a ton of views. It gets, people always want to join me for commentating, but I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> So we uh, got, we've got some. Uh, we've got a ninja deck. Yeah, from Prognosticator. Prognosticator. Mm. Prognosticator. Yeah. Cool. Was, he's trying to hide that ninjutsu. Uh, yeah, he's trying to hide ninjutsu and then hollow spawn here. We don't know what he's running. He's running. He would draw, so he'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no! Unless his monster doesn't die. Oh. 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 Okay. Did you open up so terribly you had to send an infantry? I just took the damage on the chin and kept it in my hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, I mean, if you can pull off an Exiton, it right now would be a good time to Exiton the field. Definitely. That first turn Exiton is so annoying. <laughs> you hate Exiton? Yeah, first turn. Oh, God. Well, they can't do it to you anymore now because of the new ruling. That's good. That's one of the balancing things that happened when you can only draw five cards. Oh, hand ninjas. Yep, Mermouse. Okay, so you're gonna summon and then he's just stop. He's gonna play MST, right? What? 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 How is he cheating? How? How? What? What? A big fear! <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay then. Okay, go oh, ahead. Did, do you have a response? Salty there. Oh my god. Do you have a response? Okay. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <laughs> Oh, That's why I always ask K. Prognosticator in the blue corner, negating that summon. Oh yeah, and Prognosticator about to lose his bra. Oh shit, another abyss sphere. Once will he ask? <laughs> no. It what? Oh yeah, it is once per turn. What does it say once per turn? Oh no, it's not once per turn. It's not <laughs> once per turn. And even if it was once per turn, it was negated. As in it never activated it, so yeah, it doesn't say that. He can have as many bispheres as he wants. Damn. Nigga don't even be reading cards. <laughs> he attack go through. Oh no no, because he, he must have activated it before he entered battle phase. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yes. That's my <laughs> God, you're so unprofessional. <laughs> yep, saw that coming. Wait, why'd you go to main phase two? You could have attacked with the monster that you're summoning, whatever. Ah. Yeah, but everybody says, you know, they have a high rating on here, they're pro, but no, they're bad. Don't you have a high rating on here? I got a thousand. You got a thousand? Yeah, see, that's a perfect example right there. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, talking about that good shit. I don't think Abyss Fear would be destroyed, would it? I need to really it in phase yeah. this Oh, yeah. I missed this. Oh, and he pitched, uh, Irksman, so. Chain link one, chain link two. Damn, he's having fun, and he immediately jumped into his deck. Well. A little bit of beef going on between the two. Yeah. Go ahead and, and flip up that goddamn safe zone. I know you have it. Marksman destroy. Is this effect mandatory? It's quite sensitive in the yard. I thought that was for. Wait. Oh, he's using Marksman effect to pop. Okay. I'd say, wait, you're playing Trap Hole, but that's the only one is normal or flipped, right? Yeah. Wait, why is he putting that back in his hand? Oh my god. Oh my god. No, Marksman popped that. 
why did he put his trap hole back? Didn't no Marksman pop did. it? Well, and they're just gonna ignore it, pretend that it never happened. Like, what the fuck? Like, see, see, just because you have high rating doesn't mean you're pro. You're still bad. <laughs> Isn't Marksman's effect mandatory? Damn, he had a gun to end Dragoon? Damn. I don't know which one, but one of those Mirror is Wilma's timing. When it's um discarded when it's sent to the grave by four of water effect. Mm, which one missed uh, timing? I'm... I can't remember which one. Because I was watching um like uh, I was watching Head Admin's duel and um he special summoned title, but he didn't use the effect because it missed timing. Oh yeah, yeah. When you when you use title. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. yeah How's that? Because I still don't understand this shit. Alright. Miss, so, missing the timing is something I'm really, really bad at. So, for them to get their effect, they have to be the last thing to resolve in the chain. So, when you use Dragoon and then you pitch the monster, it's not the last yeah. thing to activate in the chain because you're sending an additional monster. I, okay. the, the one thing I don't understand is how come, uh, is how come, uh, Marksman hasn't destroyed a set card. Oh, daddy, that save some. No effect on Ice Hand, there's no back row. That is the one thing that I don't understand. Because Marksman's effect is mandatory, right? Why did. Oh, never mind. Oh. Why did that card go? Why did it. What the hell? Yeah, why, why, did, why did that card go to the graveyard? I am so lost right now. I know, he just sent it to the graveyard, like, why? Yeah, put it back. Cause... Yeah. Prognosticator, misplaying like that. Yeah. But no, seriously, Marksman and... Isn't uh, Marksman and Infantry's effect mandatory? Don't they have to pop? I'm pretty sure. So, this duel can't even be continuing right now because he hasn't popped anything. He would have popped that trap hole, so... Oh my god, this is all bad. This is all bad. This and still you, is falling apart. That summon. Oh god damn. <clears throat> Terrible idea. Terrible idea. Big guy's just gonna just snatch up... That yeah, big guy a monster. Is that game? Is that is that it for round one? That should be round one down the hatch. Yep. Oh, they were in the middle of the do Oh, it's already 1-1? One, one? I thought I thought we caught it at the beginning. Oh, well. It's 1-H. Yeah, uh, I did not know that. You mean they were arguing like that for a freaking game, too? <laughs> <laughs> Hollow spawn going first. Prognosticate must want that OTK. Oh, no, prognosticator going first. I was to say, okay. Setup is important. He wants to get his background nice and set up. He wants to get his anus prepared for the mermel. What? You're just gonna summon that and leave it on field. Oh, you must have a transformation face down. Oh, tears. Oh. Damn! Dragon. Okay, so chain link one, chain link two, chain link three. Alright, so Nightmare will destroy uh, TS. And then Dragoon would still get his effect. Damn, he opened up with Dragoon again? Oh, you know, Dragoon, the card that's limited to one? Yeah, he's still getting yeah. it? That's bollocks, man. That's, that's, that's weird. Oh, not randomized into number generator. <laughs> Ian Logic. Ooh, Pike. <clears throat> he still gets his effect. Mm hmm. So he would summon, he would activate his effect as Chain Link 1. The, the transformation would be Chain Link 2. So Chain Resolve, so. How does he miss timing? He still gets his effect. 
He summons and activates his effect. That's Chain Link 1. Then you activate your tra super transformation. That's Chain Link 2. Chain resolves backwards, so you go ahead and do your transformation. Summon your monster, and then he goes ahead and pays costs. And use, uses his effect, because he was still normal summon. Yes, that is a cost. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, seriously. Like, how does he miss timing? Like, I don't understand. Cost? Because it's got the semicolon in the text. But he was still summoned. He still resolves. He didn't negate the summon, so like I said, it would go summon. A best spike would activate the effect because it was normal summon, chain link one. Then he responds to it with super transformation, which is chain link two. Chain resolves backwards, so he goes ahead and transforms with the mermel, summons his monster, and then Pike gets his effect. So he can go ahead and still. And he doesn't have to be on the field to resolve, does he? Uh... No. No, he doesn't. So. So he can still pitch and still grab his monster. Oh my god. Oh, so, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and pause this and wait for the what admin to come and yell at both of them. Watch your chat. What? I'm writing in the watch's chat. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this until this is resolved. Bear back. Yeah. He still gets his, uh, summon. So, oh, this says resolved, even though they did it backwards, but, you know, whatever, it's better than fucking them sitting here and arguing. Summon your monster! You start, you started the recording yet? Yeah, I unpaused it. Seriously, summon your monster if the gun starts its own chain. Yeah. So God will bring back Tias, and he'll banish two water monsters for his dragoon that, I mean his title that I know he has in his hand. Oh really? Wow. Okay. I really thought he would have title in his hand. And he could have made a big eye and snatched up that, that uh, white dragon ninja who's also a level 7 so he has synergy with his deck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just take it and make another big guy. Why would you summon Ice Hand when he has no back row? Look, I guess. Probably his only monster. He wants to deal that damage. That damage is real. I guess, and it's not like Marmels have a lot of back row. I wouldn't be surprised if his only back row on this deck is just three Abyss Fears. <laughs> Gun, and what you gonna send? Title. Alright. Oh, got title though. Mm hmm. Set the card. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, damn, you had a perfectly good target for uh, Ice Hand to go ahead and pop. But he could have changed it out of attack decoration. That would have been a smart idea, like if you had a big old beat stick and you like uh, attack into your monster trying to blow up your back row with Ice Hand and be like, okay, I attack your creation, play breaking skill, and then Ice Hand would run into it and have nothing pop, therefore not summoning Fire Hand. Smart, smart. <laughs> but hmm. Now, once again, Ice Hand's kind of just sitting there, so I have a feeling that if Prognosticator doesn't end it this turn, Hollow is about to go off next turn. Yeah, I have a feeling he will. Yeah, because he's been a little bit too passive in this duel right now. It's been really quiet. You gonna pitch a trap card? Oh, no, you're gonna XC right now. Okay. What you gonna XC into? Don't be bad. Don't go into, like, still sore mode and then argue. <laughs> black ship. Okay. Okay, black ship. Sure. He wants to burn him. <laughs> he's dealing max damage. Yeah. All right, no background. Hollow spawn is up on resource. I think I think Hollow spawn's gonna come back into this duel. He's about he's a, he's about to jump into this damn duel. 
Guns are blazing. Okay, what ninja's gone? Leo. Leo time. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. The super transformation target. Oh, oh, that's game. Game. oh, that's so game. That's so game. Damn. Damn. He has full control now. Oh my god. Damn, I knew it. I knew Hollow Spawn was about to turn this duel around. Hold Hollow Spawn's dick. Like, damn. <laughs> that's game. That's. I... Even, yeah, if you top that, what do. even if you top that dark hole, I still don't see what you can do. Wow, nice having a diamond arrow with no freaking Mermelo in sight. <laughs> no traffic, <traffic's> Mermelo. <laughs> I, I don't see it. I don't see it, Prognosticator. I think that I don't think there might be game. You may be up on life points, but he's up on resources. And look at that field. He's in control. Good fucking luck. You gotta deal with more than Glacia and Leo. You talked at that dark hole like a boss. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Nice top deck. <laughs> Hella nice top deck. Exiton? Yeah. Hella nice top deck, like the top deck of top decks. Ooh. Doesn't he set that? He sets it. Wait, wait, stop, stop. This card's just something you could target one trap hole, uh, normal trap card in your grave, right? Set that target. Uh, wait, no. Yeah, you have to set the trap. So if you yeah. want an Exiton, you're gonna wipe it anyway, so. Yeah, you don't even read your own effects. Like, yeah, okay. God. He's giving a uh, hollow spawn card and stuff, and he not even do it himself. No, no. That top deck was so damn hard. The problem is, is that I still don't think he can come through. I still don't think he can do it. He's still down on retard, but damn, he top deck right into that. Ooh, that's salvage. No, no salvage. Does he not have targets? Get the I, can't, title. I can't I can't look into the graveyard. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna banish two for title. Okay. But you gotta be careful though. He could still he could still wipe you if you try to attack him. Oh, he just passed the turn. Okay. <laughs> Why would you? Uh, why would you do that? Hmm. <sighs> Alright, title goes back into the hand. Still up on resources now. So he can, if he tries to attack Exiton, he can still wipe the field, but then he'll be wiping his own background unless he puts his background before the battle phase. Oh, Megalo. Pitching title and pitching Turge. Megalo. He's trying to get rid of his cards. What is that? Oh, Void trap ball. Void trap ball. Right. All the trap holes. Damn. Dude, Prognosticator is top decking so damn hard. I know, right? <laughs> Like he should, like he, if he didn't top that into that die now, this duel would be over, but no, he ripped right into it. If he wins, this would be all due to luck, because he should have lost. He's just, he's just top decking trap after trap after trap. Mm hmm. Did he just pass again? Yeah, he did. Man, fuck it. I would have just summoned Taiwan and then attacked. Like if he wants to wipe the field, more power too. I guess he's really scared of losing right now. That title just keeps on going back in his hand. How many? How many I don't. I can't check the graveyard. I can't check the graveyard. I'm not sure how much water he has left in the grave. Ex Exiton won't work now. <clears throat> Oh, 
Really? Uh, yeah, really? He what? has all the fucking answers and all the fucking background, dude. Like, he's got all the holes, man. All the holes. Mm hmm. Like, every single time, like, this guy, this guy, the fucking prognosticator, is a top decking master. Oh my god. Oh, but there's, a, there's another one. <laughs> <laughs> He has all the trap holes, like all of them. Like that's all he plays is fucking back row. Like you better understand, like fucking thirty percent. No, like fucking thirty cards, thirty out of the fucking cards in his deck are back row. God, how many water is he? I don't know how much water he has left in his. How many graveyard. tigers does he have for title? I don't know. <clears throat> oh. 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 MST his own card, so there's nothing to. So he can't next time. Now he's down on resources. Deep prison. Go ahead, flip out. Flip it the fuck up. I know you got it. <laughs> I want to know what that is. Shit. Nothing. All right. What the hell did uh Hollow spawn MST on himself? <laughs> Go ahead, top deck right into a level four monster. You have a level four monster right there in the field, or you top deck into another Darnar. Darnar. Okay. I was about to say, what, you're gonna fucking make a fucking 101 this time? Take his, uh, title mm -hmm. and keep it. Keep it. <laughs> so, you still have water in there? Okay, this duel slowed down to a screeching halt. Oh. Yu Gi Oh! oh. Top so deck! God! This is some He's bull, top some... decking master, bro. What is this? I know, this is some great I never top deck like this. Shit. Hmm. <laughs> mm 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 mm. Oh, that's probably it. Probably it. I can't remember the super super transformation target. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Can you make another Leo? What's he gonna do? Make a cowboy? Prognosticator, the top deck master. Oh. All right, you got one last. You got one more turn. There's no pride in your game, prognosticator. You just top decked hard. You had nothing. And you top decked into everything. Back row. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Prognosticator wins through top decking. Remember, guys, doesn't matter how skilled you are, because there is still luck in Yu Gi Oh! Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode of the end of commentary. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support. See you guys tomorrow with some more D'Angelo commentary. Thanks for watching.